Hello everyone, I'm Curious and I have COVID. <coughs> Hello everyone, I'm Curious and I've been messing around with Mega XL darts. For some reason my brain wants to call them Ultra darts, which I think would be cool if there wasn't already something shitty called Ultra darts, but oh well. So I've been experimenting with Mega XL darts, trying to add weight to the tip to make them a little more accurate, and mostly just adding o-rings into the tip, which you can do just by taking a right size o-ring and shoving it right through the one of the whistle holes. It's a nice non-permanent way to make it heavier that's not adding anything super hard and is reversible because you can just take some pliers and reach in there and rip it right back out, no problem. And I've even tried some really chunky ones like this. Out of more powerful stuff, it does seem to make them more accurate but their range decreases so much and stock Mega XL blasters can barely shoot them when you add more weight to the tip so trying to turn them into weird like sniper ammunition doesn't seem to be the best way to go but if you do want to add more weight O-rings are the way to go it's really easy to do and you can get one that's kind of just the right size that it will stay in place and not rattle around the only issue I've had with doing that is that, uh, depending on what you use, sometimes you just block off the whistle hole and then your Mega XL darts don't whistle anymore because they, they got this thing filling the gap there. So that kind of removes a bit of the fun of it, unfortunately. I've got quite a few Mega XL darts that I've kind of marked in the back because I've put a couple O-rings in here, just like a rubber washer and then an O-ring that just kind of centers nice and makes the dart quite a bit heavier. You actually see here. So like a normal XL dart, 6.2 grams, and then the ones that I've weighted are closer to 9 grams. This one's 8.8. .8. I think that's consistent across the ones I've weighted. And that's like adding another fourth of the dart back onto itself at least. And shooting this out of something like a big blast, but actually here's a decent barrel. The weight actually makes a pretty cons pretty considerable difference in the accuracy, but stock Mega XL blasters just can't handle it, so it's kind of a weird trade-off. <laughs> but they do fly straighter, and the whistle is a little strange. With my weighted darts, I've kind of found a, a ring combination that doesn't block the whistle hole so that it actually does whistle. But if you're shooting these out of something more powerful, uh, a lot of the times they fly too fast to whistle anyway. You get this weird, like, high-pitched half whistle. So it's almost a waste of time to put that much effort into it if you're trying to weight them. So I ended up deciding that if I wasn't having great results going for quality, I would instead try to go for quantity. And I ended up dusting off a real old blaster. I had a semi-busted ultimator. You can see it's, all the screws are rusted out. Um, somebody had actually, the, whoever owned this before me, sawed off the weird sc scope thing up here and the, at the rocket holder down here. I didn't do that, but it made me feel a little less bad about modifying it because someone had already kind of tore it apart. But I actually found a PVC fitting that seals onto the end of the ultimator and attaches to a <laughs> one inch PVC coupler that then attaches to this tube that fits Mega XL darts perfectly. And this tube is like this random Gerolite tube, which is like a composite fiber and plastic resin tube that looks kind of like cardboard. It's just something I had from McMaster from back when I was trying to find uh, tubes that are the right size to shoot, not to shoot, the right size to be Vortex Disc magazines. <laughs> but this tube was way too small for that, and it just kind of sat in my uh, pipe storage. And then Mega XL comes around, and this is a perfect fit. Whoop, hit my tripod. And this was a perfect fit with Mega XL darts, at least for a high volume launcher like the Ultimator. And the seal with the Mega XL dart is good enough that pumping the Ultimator actually just vacuum loads the dart so 
you don't even have to like ramrod it or take the barrel off to to um, add your dart. It just all it just ends up in the back all on its own. And you can see this weird texture of the Garolite tube. I'll put a link in the description for to the Mac, McMaster part for this tubing because it's just it's really cheap. It's easy to machine and mess with, and it fits into one inch PVC couplers perfectly, and it works for Mega XL darts really nicely. It's kind of a miraculous find that I happened to buy it a long time ago for other purposes and now I'm using it for this. And with this tube, the Ultimator will shoot a Mega XL dart 120 FPS, <laughs> which is a lot for a Mega XL dart. A stock Mega XL blaster will shoot them 50 FPS or high 40s sometimes. The highest I've been able to get a Mega XL dart to go prior to trying this thing out was like 80 and now this does 120 which is nuts. Now unweighted um, XL darts have no accuracy at all out of this but that's not really the point. What you can do is load four XL darts into this barrel and fire four of them at once and it still has more velocity with four darts than a stock Mega XL Blaster does with one. So you have this Mega XL blunderbuss. It's just like Nerf artillery at this point. You're just shooting these darts that, that might go five feet, they might go 200 feet, depending on what direction they decide to soar, and you're just shooting four of them, and it's awesome. <laughs> Of course, I will demonstrate that shortly. Something else that I discovered I could do with this is taking Mega XL Dart, loading it in the barrel, and using it as a sabot to also fire several smaller darts in front of it. So if I take four Elite Darts, I can then put those in the barrel, and they fit pretty nicely. And I can take another four and put those in the barrel, and another grouping of four, and now we have eight darts in a shotgun that will fly 80 feet no problem. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> and they go everywhere. You can do this with half darts or more accurate darts and you get this fast moving cloud of darts that just keeps on going. And the XL dart just kind of goes wherever because it's wildly inaccurate but it does its job of pushing all the other darts out of the barrel and very quickly forward. So it is hilarious. So I'm gonna do some firing demonstrations to show you this crazy Mega XL shooter. And another thing I did as part of prettying up this whole thing was I added a piece of a Titan barrel onto the end of this here. And now this Ultimator can just shoot Titan rockets by putting them on the end of the barrel, <laughs> which is pretty funny. I think the amount of dead space in the barrel makes it so that it's not shooting Titan rockets quite as well as a Titan would, but it, it shoots them well enough. If you're wondering why I st left this piece here, um, the Ultimator is a extension spring powered blaster. So it has this huge extension spring that you crank backwards all the way back, and the extension spring is anchored right at the front here. So you can't actually remove any of this original barrel without just completely rendering the blaster inoperable. So anything that you add to an ultimator you gotta add to the front here because you have this giant extension spring anchored at the front that then gets cranked all the way back and then the plunger rockets forward and you have this giant amount of air coming out. So yeah, that's why it's so much longer than you'd think it would need to be. Because this is actually a functional part of the blaster. It's not just a barrel like it would be on a Titan. All right, let's shoot it. Alrighty, so we got our ultimator. Load it up with one dart. Gotta crank it up. There we go. And I have a slightly longer barrel on here actually, just to get as much power as possible out of this to see how far I can, how fast I can get one dart to shoot. And let's check the chronograph. 110. <laughs> Duplicate 110. I've seen this get up as far as 120, but 110 is about right. Let's try the shorter barrel to see if what kind of difference it makes. Oh, that was actually stronger, 113. Cool. 
What about our FPS with a weighted Mega XL dart? I probably called them an ultra dart at some point. Again. Heavy boy. Ah, it's still shooting like 108. The only issue with the heavier darts is that I think they're still not that accurate coming out at this speed. I think it's still it's a little bit too much for them. Now let's see if I can get um, some quad shots to go over the chronograph. I'm gonna go a one, a two, three, four, all the way to the top of the barrel. See what the chronograph says about that. 56. So we're shooting four Mega XL darts at the speed of a single XL dart out of a normal XL blaster. If I try three instead, we're up in the 70s now. And of course, two should be somewhere between 70 and 100. Oh, it shot that at 100. That's pretty good. What we can do with four darts in front of an XL dart. So we already got the XL dart in here. We got four random darts. Those are from a D dart blaster. Let's get a chrono reading for that. 81. Not bad. Let's take a little bundle of four darts on max darts. Let them fall in there. <laughs> that didn't work. Half darts are a little picky. You gotta actually line them up in the barrel correctly. So what you would want to do is take the barrel off, take four darts, load them in so that they're actually in a cluster like that, then add your XL dart, and then attach it. Yep, 99 FPS, the weird five dart shotgun. Now with my longer barrel, I can launch up to six Mega XL darts. <laughs> And if I back up a bit more, you can see what kind of spread I get. Get some more light back here. There we go. Now we're going to do a point blank test of one Mega XL dart into the ballistic cups and see what happens to the table. Close up. <laughs> All the way through. Now let's see what a Titan rocket does to this. <laughs> so much more mass. <laughs> and now four XL darts. Let's do some range testing to see if I can actually hit anything with this. As usual, I'm about 50 feet away, from one end of the basement to the other. I'm going to start by shooting one XL dart and just seeing if I hit anything. Or if I even make it between the blue curtains. You can see they, they definitely curve. That one went to the right and hit the curtain. If I try a weighted XL dart, it should have considerably more accuracy, but still won't be flying laser straight, if I had to guess. Or it'll fly laser straight and I'll just be completely wrong. That was pretty cool. But what about a shotgun of four XL darts? from 50 feet away. Quantity over quality. <laughs> they just went everywhere. Let's try three, get a little bit more oomph out of them. Oh, I see one hit the table right below the cups. Still leaves a lot to be desired with the accuracy though. So let's take two weighted XL darts and try that. Huh, those actually flew pretty straight, but with the extra weight, they um, they fell quite a bit and went under the table. 
So multiple weighted darts is a little much. Now let's try four half darts with an XL dart behind it. It's a little bit of a pain to load. I'm gonna try to shoot the cups on the right. <laughs> All right, that was a lot of spread, apparently. Let's try more darts. I don't know if you could see it, but they went perfectly. The half darts made this like perfect circle around where I was aiming. They spread a little bit wider than the table. All right, let's try eight, eight half darts being pushed by an XL dart. That was too much. All right, four full length darts with an XL dart. There we go. So that would have hit a human sized target at that range, but definitely not hitting the cups. What about the Titan rocket? <laughs> I jumped it right over the cup. Like it, it curved around it. That's pretty funny. Just gonna shotgun Mega XL darts until I hit something. That was so close. Had two dive straight down and one hit the table. <laughs> they keep flying really well, but good luck hitting a target. They're making it to the back wall, but they are not hitting the cups because they're going everywhere. <laughs> that was a perfect spread with two darts at the left curtain and two darts at the right curtain. So obviously your use case for this is there are 20 people over there in a big team deathmatch. And I want to try to hit a couple of them from 100 feet away. I'm just going to fire these in their general direction. Because if you're trying to aim for a more concentrated target like this, you're just not going to reliably hit anything. I think I hit the table twice. Okay, I give up. The Nerf Watcher. If you haven't seen that video, click on the little thing on the video. I'll put a link somewhere. I've found that Elite Darts work the best as the blunderbuss ammo. <laughs> well, I hit something. Because they just go everywhere. Well, that's it for this one. Just wanted to show off my wacky ultimator and fire off some Mega XL Darts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, this has been Carius reminding you to have fun. I think some of these need to be retired.